What if vendors could set their own shipping rates based on their location? Imagine a system where shipping is calculated fairly, reducing costs for both customers and sellers. Sounds great? Now it's possible with our latest plugin update. Traditional multi-vendor stores calculate shipping from a central location, which often leads to inaccurate pricing. Vendors end up overcharging or undercharging for delivery. With new integration to distance-based shipping rates, vendors set shipping fees based on actual distance to the customer, creating a more transparent and fair system. How to set it up? Setting up distance-based shipping is super easy. Here's how it works. Step 1. Install the base plugins. Begin by installing the free or pro version of the flexible shipping plugin. This plugin serves as the foundational integration for distance-based shipping rates. Step 2. Purchase and install the distance-based shipping rates plugin. You may find link to this plugin in the description. Step 3. Install the appropriate marketplace plugin, such as Dokken or WCFM. Make sure to configure it following the instructions provided by the plugin developers to ensure seamless integration with your setup. Ensure that each vendor inputs their store address as their shipping origin. This address is used as the starting point for calculating distances. Step 4. Configure the distance-based shipping rates plugin settings. Enter your Google API key. This key is essential. If you do not know how to obtain this key, then in our documentation you will find step-by-step -step instructions. Select your travel mode and distance unit. To ensure that distance calculations match your requirements. Origin you can leave as it is, because we are enabling Dokken integrations and vendor addresses will be a priority. Enable integration with Dokken or WCFM Marketplace. Remember, you can only use one multi-vendor plugin at a time. Step 5. Set up shipping zones. This ensures that shipping costs are accurately adjusted for different regions. If you'd like to learn more about what shipping zones are, please take a look at our blog or video. Step 6. Create flexible shipping method in your shipping zones. As mentioned earlier, the flexible shipping plugin is required as the base integration for distance-based shipping rates and will only work with the shipping method. Step 7. Define shipping rules. Within the flexible shipping method settings, you can create specific shipping rules. For example, you might set price thresholds or rates based on the measured distance or delivery time. That's it. Now you may leverage the Google Distance Routes API benefits. With your API properly configured, the Google Distance Routes will dynamically calculate both the distance and travel time between the vendor's store and the customer's address. Troubleshooting. During the video, you probably noticed the blue box with information about the shipping method. This box is the debug mode, which is built into every Octalize shipping method. It can be activated by clicking Enable FS Debug Mode. It's an essential tool for verifying whether what we've set up aligns with our intentions. If your shipping method isn't working, please check the debug mode to see why the rules aren't triggering. I highly encourage you to use this tool to understand what's causing the issue. Here's why this solution is worth your investment. Customers get accurate, transparent shipping costs. Vendors have full control over pricing. Marketplace owners reduce logistics headaches, reduce cart abandonment by offering fair prices. Save time and effort with automated calculations. Enhance vendor experience and attract more sellers. Don't miss out on this game-changing feature. Click the link below to get started today.